the design of the Bible itself is of interest. Written over a 1,500-year period by vastly different writers, ranging from fishermen to kings, the books of the Bible agree amazingly well in theme, facts, and cross-referencing. Despite being written over different eras, different settings, and different situations, each book in the Bible is consistent in its message. These 66 books of the Bible present history, prophecy, poetry, and theology, and despite their complexity, differences in writing styles, and vast time periods, these books agree miraculously well. Did human beings plan such an intricate combination of books over the 1500-year time period on the most controversial topic ever known to man? There were no printing presses until the 15th century, and Bible manuscripts have survived despite weather, persecution, and time. In spite of these differences and difficulties, there remains a consistent message throughout the pages of the Bible. There are many prophecies in the Bible concerning Jesus, messianic prophecies, which predict the events of Christ that he would fulfill during his life. There are dozens of prophecies, even prophecies written centuries before Christ was even born. Some of the prophecies are virgin birth, born in Bethlehem, side pierced, crucifixion, and he shall be a prophet. For example, the virgin birth prophecy, Isaiah 7.14, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. And born in Bethlehem, But you, Bethlehem Euphrata, Though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from old, from everlasting. And the prophecy of the house of David. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness, a king shall reign and prosper, and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. Looking at prophecies like these, the science of probability was used to show that mere coincidence is ruled out in Jesus fulfilling these prophecies. In the publication Science Speaks, researcher Peter Stoner did an analysis of just eight of the prophecies concerning Jesus. He stated that, We find that the chance that any man might have lived down to the present time and fulfilled eight prophecies is one in ten to the seventeenth power. Just looking at only eight prophecies, the probability of one man fulfilling them is one in one hundred quadrillion, a one followed by seventeen zeros, or ten to the seventeenth power. To help us comprehend this staggering probability, Stoner gives us an example by supposing that we take ten to the seventeenth silver dollars and lay them across Texas. They will cover the whole state two feet deep. Now mark one of these silver dollars and stir the whole mass thoroughly, all over the state. Blindfold a man and tell him that he can travel as far as he wishes, but he must pick up one silver dollar and say that this is the right one. What chance would he have in getting the right one? Just the same chance that the prophets would have had in writing these eight prophecies and having them all come true in any one man. This is just eight prophecies. Now if we consider 48 prophecies, Stoner says, We find the chance that any one man fulfilled all 48 prophecies to be 1 in 10 to the 157th power, or 1 followed by 157 zeros. Incidentally, the estimated number of electrons in the universe is around 10 to the 79th. It should be quite evident that Jesus did not fulfill the prophecies by accident. Mathematical analysis was made on the Bible, published in 1948. Analysis was done on the original Hebrew and Greek biblical texts. Marvelous numerical patterns have been discovered beneath the surface of the original Hebrew and Greek. The number seven occurs many times in Scripture. From the first book of the Bible through the last book, seven is by far an outstanding number. For example, in the last book of the Bible, Revelation, there are seven churches, 
seven lampstands, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven vials, seven stars, seven spirits. Besides its symbolic meaning, this same number seven has been discovered in a special manner beneath the surface of the Hebrew and Greek texts. For example, in the well-known beginning of the Bible, Genesis 1.1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. In the original Hebrew, Genesis 1.1 is shown here as Hebrew reads right to left. Performing a numerical analysis on the Hebrew characters yields many interesting features. Feature number one. The number of Hebrew words in this verse is exactly seven. Feature number two. The number of letters in the seven words is exactly twenty-eight, or four sevens. Feature number three. The first three words contain the subject and predicate. In the beginning God created. The number of letters in these Hebrew words is exactly fourteen, or two sevens. The last four of these seven Hebrew words contain the object, the heavens and the earth. The number of letters in these last four Hebrew words is fourteen, or two sevens. Feature number four. The last four Hebrew words consist of the heavens and the earth. The number of letters in the first object is exactly seven. The number of letters in the second object is seven. Feature number five. The three leading words in this verse are God, the subject, and heavens and earth, the objects. The number of letters in these three Hebrew words is exactly fourteen, or two sevens. The number of letters in the other four words is fourteen, or two sevens. Features number six and seven. The shortest word is in the middle. The number of letters in this word and the word to its left is exactly seven. The number of letters in the middle word and the word to its right is exactly seven. These numeric features are indeed intriguingly hidden beneath the surface. These are only some of the amazing numeric facts which have been discovered throughout the Bible. Interestingly enough, the number seven in the Bible is used to represent completeness and perfection. One more thing about the first verse of the Bible. There are three important nouns in this verse, God, heaven, and earth. When you add up the numeric values of these letters, like in Roman numerals, they add up to 86, 395, and 296, respectively. When you add these three together, the total numeric value of the three words is exactly 777, or 111 sevens. Of course, neither 776 or 778 divides evenly by 7. It is exactly 777. It is also interesting to note that the numeric value of the verb in the first verse of Genesis, the verb created, is also a number which divides perfectly by 7. Its numeric value is 203, or 29 sevens. There are many other interesting numerical features throughout the Bible, such as, such as in the Gospel of Matthew, of Christ's genealogy, and the account of Christ's birth. There are only two ways in which these amazing facts could have occurred. By accident, that is, by sheer chance, or they occurred intentionally, by design. According to the law of chances, for any one feature or numeric fact to occur accidentally, there is one chance in seven. For two features to occur, one chance in forty-nine. For three features, one chance in three hundred forty-three. For four features, one chance in 2,401. For five features, one chance in 16,807. For six features, one chance in 117,649, and so forth. According to the law of chances, for 24 features to occur in a passage accidentally, there is only one chance in 191 quintillion, 581 quadrillion, 231 trillion, 380 billion, 566 million, 414,000, 